Yep. Uh, there. Good morning, everybody. We're just getting the uh, truck ready to go here. Gotta hook up to our trailer and head out to Kenora. Let's get going. that I'm not gonna run too low on fuel. Fuel will be cheaper down there as it always is but it's a lot more expensive if you run out of fuel. We're just gonna, gotta clean my windshield anyway. Meters, turn left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1. Not that it's gonna do much good all the bugs will be back like in 10 minutes. Fuel is cheaper here in Manitoba still than in Ontario. That's why I'm fueling here. Because Manitoba extended their fuel tax holiday to the end of the summer. No fuel tax in Manitoba for another three months. So we have the cheapest fuel, gasoline and diesel, in the entire nation of Canada right now. Just want to brag right there because that's words I never thought would be coming out of my mouth. And they probably never will again. Got some cheap juice! Now that we're all juiced up, I don't gotta worry about that. I have an appointment for 2.30 tomorrow afternoon in Minneapolis for my reload coming back. And I think that's gonna be my last load before my scheduled holidays. Because that'll get me back Wednesday, and my scheduled holidays start on Thursday. I know it's an odd time a week for it to start, but my wife's birthday's on Thursday. And we also have a few other things going on on that day. And then the following day on the 26th is the PBX Truck Show, which I hope you're going to be at in Blumenort, Manitoba. You can go down below to the website, below all of my videos, pbxtruck.ca. You got to get tickets for the concert. It goes towards charity. So we'll take this load down. Take it, it's a load of steel we're taking back up north. Take that up north and... Uh, That'll be that for uh, about a week and a half or so. I haven't actually booked off holidays in a long, long time. I always sort of just take unscheduled breaks when my truck goes into the shop, right? But then we don't really have any plans and we just sit around waiting for the truck to be done. Now we actually plan time to actually relax and take a break. So it's much needed. I'm looking forward to it. I grabbed a flatbed because for my reload, I'm loading steel and I have to, you know, plastic poly wrap it and then tarp it. And that's just easier to do on one level surface, right? Rather than having a step deck. So I grabbed a flatbed for that. But because I grabbed a flatbed for my next load, this load had to be spread out. And if it was on a step deck, we could have just kept it like closer together, right? But so I had to use all three tarps. I think this is only the third time I've used that center tarp since I bought it. But we are all uh, up here, We're ready to roll out. I'm just double checking, making sure everything is good to go. Look at the back here. Looks good. So, uh, flip that over, I guess. There we go, let's make it look better. There you go, make that look better. Okay, well. The good thing about having it so low and spread out is that I'll get better fuel economy. You see my truck will cut through the wind and the wind will just sail right over this. No parachute behind me on this trip. So 
I'm hoping to get unloaded tonight yet. So I did all this work, tarping it up, just to drive six hours down the road, take them off and roll them all up. <laughs> the things I do for money. closer to there so that I have less to do tomorrow I might even be able to get home tomorrow night not to the house but home to Manitoba because it'll be really late by the time I get home it's a good day all right let's get these things rolled up
Alrighty, we got empty. Now I'm gonna head down to Clearwater, Minnesota. I'm gonna park it there for the night and we got plenty of time to get to our customer tomorrow for 2.30. I'll probably be getting to Clearwater around one in the morning, which means after my 10 hours are up, it'll only be 11 a.m. And I'm only an hour from my customer then. So I'll be able to probably stay around Clearwater there for about 12 hours, which will give me a good night's rest and will give me time to catch up on a few things on the internet editing videos and stuff too. So I always like when I have a couple of extra hours in the day because it lets me get other things done. I don't have any free time. If you're wondering, there's no free time for Trucker Josh. There's no time in my life where I can just sit. Even if I sit for 10 minutes, that is 10 wasted minutes when I could be doing something productive. All right, we are arriving at Olsen Truck Stop near Clearwater, Minnesota. Ah, and the spot I wanted to park in, there's already a truck there, I can see it already. It's off to our right. Speedway fuel stop. Turn right and then, approaching destination on the left side, in 180 meters. on the meters. left side. Here it is. It looks pretty full. See, right where this guy is here off on our left, that's where I like to park. <laughs> took my spot, man. It's okay, I forgive you. Let's see what we got here. All of these spots here are taken. Is that spot taken? That spot's taken. We'll go around to the back, see what they got back there. Sometimes it's busy, sometimes it's not. Well, I think I found a good spot. We're gonna head out here and check it out. The truck over there is like smoking. It's that red one. Like it's doing a pretty hardcore regen over there. Huh. So here we are. There's the fuel pumps. And here's the truck. Hmm. Yeah, I think this will be a good spot. I'm a little worried because I'm right on the end, right? I don't like being right on the end of a row because if trucks want to come around here, I risk them running into my hood with their trailer if they don't take it wide enough, if they don't know what they're doing. But I think I'll be okay because there's such a wide area here that they can turn around on. I think I'd be okay. As far back as I can go here. I didn't do that. That was already like that. Should be good here. That's the sign that I'm comfortable with where I'm parked. I always leave my marker lights on while I walk around the truck every night before I go to bed, make sure that everything is as it should be. Uh, make sure the tires are inflated because if I have a flat tire suddenly, it must have gone flat just recently then. Then I can take care of it before I get going in the morning. I don't like finding these things out first thing in the morning. I've never had a flat tire at the end of my day though. Uh, so I always like to check anyway, just in case. And uh, make sure that I'm straight, that I didn't take up two spots, that I only took up one spot, that if there's room for two trucks, that I made sure that uh, I only took one space, like if there's no lines and it's just like a gravel lot, so that I left, left room for another truck to get in so that we can get as many trucks as possible into the truck stop, that I'm in a safe spot where I don't feel like I'm gonna get hit. And I think I'm, okay here. I'm feeling comfortable about it. 
It's good to be back in the U.S. again here on Interstate 94 in Minnesota or west of Minneapolis. I'm going to be headed east into Minneapolis tomorrow. It's about an hour from here, about 50 miles that I got to go, 80 kilometers. And uh, I've got to be there for 2.30. So I only have to leave here, let's say 1 o'clock. 12.30, 1 o'clock. I'll be a little early when I get there and give myself a little extra time for traffic in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And yeah, we'll go load up. I got this poly wrap with me on the bed back there. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. I've got to lay it out on my trailer first and then they load the steel on top of the plastic. And once they load the steel, I have to wrap the plastic around the steel and then put my tarps over the plastic. Somewhere in there I gotta put straps on too. I'll figure out what their procedure is once I get there. I've I've loaded stuff like this before. I think I've loaded at this place a couple of times before. So it's, uh, it's supposed to be flat steel, not coils. And it's going to a familiar place uh, that I know in Rosenort, Manitoba. I'm looking forward to that. So. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to do all those fun YouTube things that everybody always tells you to do. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. We've made a lot of videos already, over 3,100 videos in my playlist. You can go to my channel, find all my playlists there. Uh, by year or all together, you can go explore, have fun. There's lots to see. And uh, if you want to take it one step further, you can become a member. Click the Join Now button below the video, and it'll explain to you your options. It's like the cost of a cup of coffee a, uh, a month, and you get early access to my videos and a special status in the comment section as well. You can uh, click that and find out more there. But if you don't want to do that, perfectly fine. Best way to support me if you like my content is to share it on your social media. Share it with your friends. Talk about me with your friends. Bring up Trucker Josh at the dinner table. Why not? And of course, one more time, leave me a comment down below. Make some friends down there. I'll see you tomorrow.